The bane of every gamer's existence and the greatest excuse your trash friend makes anytime they lose is high ping. To be fair though, high ping is an actual huge problem for gamers. That's why it's so important to know how to lower your ping so you can own the trash talkers of the group so hard they never open their mouths again. From years of basically fusing with my controller and chair for 12 hours at a time, I think I've solved this issue and I'll show you how to do it with a VPN and optimize it even more with another service we'll talk about later. Before we dive into how to do it though, let's just break down what the heck ping is. Ping is a metric calculated in milliseconds to tell how long it takes information to reach the gamer server. Lower ping means less lag and higher ping means you bringing eternal shame on your bloodline for the mountain of L's you take. So how do you lower your ping without just moving closer to your gamer server? One of the easiest, most effective ways is with a VPN. Naturally, the next question is, how does it help since VPNs or virtual private networks add an extra step for your online traffic? Shouldn't that make it take longer? Well, a lot of time it will. However, in some cases, rerouting your connection through the right VPN server can optimize the route and basically create a shortcut. In these cases, VPNs lower ping and make gameplay a lot smoother. This is even better in games where you can choose which server you are connecting to like Quake Champions, Apex Legends or Valorant. For the best performance, you have to get your ping down to at least 50 milliseconds. Even though it doesn't sound like a lot, it can be the slight edge you need in high-paced gaming. We've all been there when the game lags just enough at just the wrong time, but no one will ever believe you didn't just lose. Keep in mind though, that if the servers are already close to you, a VPN won't make much of a difference, if any. If you can get a server that's far away though, you'll see a pretty dramatic boost. I usually double down on this and implement Gear Up Booster. I haven't seen as many people talking about this, but it really took my gaming to the next level. It's a Wi-Fi stabilizer designed for gaming. There's a link in the pinned comment if you want to test it out for yourself at a discount. Unfortunately, it's only available on Windows. Now that the basics are covered, I'm going to show you exactly how a VPN reduces ping in games. First, you'll need a VPN. I'd recommend NordVPN just because it's what I've been using for years. And there's a link in description if you want to get it for yourself at also at a discounted price. Anyway, the first thing you need to do is figure out your game server. In Valorant, for example, you can see that in the play menu if you just hover over the connection icon. If today I'm looking for a lower ping to Hong Kong, then I'll close the game for now. I'd recommend doing this with most games before starting up your VPN. Then I'd connect to the closest server. This will slightly change my routing, but the moment it does, it causes huge changes. Once the game reopens, you can see my ping to Hong Kong just got way lower and Giri P Booster helps reduce lags too. That's the magic of a VPN on games like this. I'd recommend testing different servers at different times of the day. Even outside of being able to access games unavailable in your country, a good VPN can make your information more secure and protect against DDoS attacks or ISP throttling. I can't speak too much on other VPNs just because I haven't used them, but NordVPN does a pretty solid job for me while gaming whether on my PC or console since it can be hooked up to my actual router. It's not super complicated, pretty straightforward and gets the job done. Now for some other things you can do to maximize the ping lowering. Step 1. Game Settings First thing to do if you're facing packet loss is to open the game. Head to Settings, go to the General tab, scroll down and find the Network Buffering option. Set it to Moderate or Maximum. Now, exit the game. Step 2. Firewall Settings Next, we'll be adjusting Firewall Settings. Search for Allow an app through Windows Firewall and open it. Change settings, allow another app, and browse your Riot client location to add it. Step 3. Disabling Windows. Update now. We'll be disabling the automatic Windows update system, but before that, manually check for any updates. If you have updates, complete them. After that, follow me. Open Run using Windows key plus R and type services.msc. Scroll down and find Windows Update, right-click on it, go to Properties, and set Startup Type to Disabled. Hit stop, then apply. Step 4. Finding the best DNS server. We'll find the best DNS server for your PC. Search for CMD and run it as an admin. Type ping 1.1.1.1 and hit enter. It will show you how much ping you get. For me, it's 2ms. Now, type ping 8.8.8.8 .8 and hit enter. It's 40ms, so obviously the first one is better for me. It might be different in your case. Step 5. Setting DNS server address, right click on your network icon and go to network and internet settings. Go to advanced network settings, then ethernet and hit edit. 
in more adapter options, we'll see to select Internet Protocol version 4 and go to its properties. Check, use the following DNS server address. Type 1.1.1.1 in the first row and 1.0.0.1 in the second row if you're using the first DNS server. If you're using the second DNS server, put 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. Step 6. Network Adapter Settings Now open your Device Manager, search for Network Adapters, select the first one, Realtek Gaming, right-click on it and go to Properties. Go to the Driver tab and update the driver if you have any updates available. Then go to the Advanced tab. Advanced Triple E should be disabled, Power Efficient Ethernet should be disabled, Green Ethernet should be disabled and Power Saving Mode should be disabled. These three should be disabled as well. Now go to Power Management and uncheck the box. Step 7. TCP Optimizer. Restart your machine. After that, there will be a link in the description. Click on it and you'll be redirected to my website. If you find any ads, close them and click on the download link again. You can also manually search for TCP Optimizer and download it. After the download, run it as an admin and follow these settings. Check Custom, drag it all the way to 100. Select your network adapter. Window Auto Tuning to Normal. Windows Scaling Heuristics to Disabled, Congestion Control Provider to CTCP, RSS Enabled, RSC Enabled, EASN to Disabled, Check some Offloading to Disabled, TCP to Disabled, LSO Disabled, TCP Timestamp should be Disabled as well. TTL to 64. Now go to Advanced Settings, Max Connections per Server to 10, Local Priority to 4, Host Priority to 5, DNS priority to 6, net priority to 7, max sign retransmissions to 2, non aka RTT resiliency to disabled, initial RTO to 2000, min RTO to 300, QoS NLA to optimal 1, network throttling to disabled, system responsiveness to gaming, TCP frequency to disabled, no delay to enabled, ticks disabled, system cache should be default and size should be optimized, max user port should be 65534, TCP wait delay should be 30, apply changes and hit OK. Now, restart again. Last tip, whenever you're about to launch your game, just make sure to exit every browser from the tray. I hope this video was helpful, and you can check the description for a link to NordVPN and GearUp Booster. And, and gear